This is Ritesh Srinivasan and welcome to my channel. In this video, let's look at a collab demo of Universal NER. Universal NER is an LM for named entity recognition. Now they have a demo over here. I've done a previous video. You can check it out. I put the link to that video in the description. Video. So here, you, if you have text like this, right, raccoons and red pandas belong to different families. And then you have an entity type animal which needs to be detected in this text. And when you submit it to this model, you get an output like raccoons, red panda. These are the animals, this particular text. Okay. So they have released this model on Hugging Face. So let's try out this model. Uh, for this model, you need a particular prompting template when you are creating the output. Okay. So here uh, is your uh, basically uh, the collab notebook. So what I've done over here is that I install necessary libraries like transformer, langchain. I'm using langchain over here because I want to send different text to the prompt every time and I need not construct the prompt. It I can use a prompt template and pass input parameters. Okay. Then I need to install sentence piece over here, which is a tokenizer. Then uh, from langchain, I import hugging face pipeline from transformers. I import um, auto tokenizer, auto model for causal LM. So this is not required. Okay, import I import transformers, import torch. Um, so the model is this universal NER, uni NER 7B all. That is the model which is case. Okay. And then uh, tokenizer is auto tokenizer from pre-trained model. From this model, for this model, we create a tokenizer and then we create a pipeline, transformers pipeline. Task is text generation. We pass the model, right, and tokenizer and certain other parameters over here. Okay. Then we uh, this downloads the model. It loads it into GPU memory. Uh, this model requires close to 14 GB of uh, GPU memory. Go to the resources. It requires almost 30.8 or 40. And this is a GPU instance. Okay. So then I create a LLM over here. Hacking phase pipeline. I pass the pipeline which we have instantiated and the model arguments. Uh, temperature is because I want it to be deterministic over here when it is doing named entity recognition and it always takes up the highest probability token when it is generated. Okay. Then what I do over here is that from Langchain, I import the prompt template and LLM chain. So here is the template. So I've actually copied this particular template, which is present over here. Okay. So the template is like this. A virtual assistant answers questions from a user based on the provided text, user text, input text. Uh, this input text is where we will send in our, this is an input variable in this template. Okay, another variable is this, what describes entity type in the text. So this entity type is also an input variable over here. So here is our prompt. Um, so we create prompt is equal to prompt template by passing this template and the input variables. Okay, one thing to be noted in this particular model is that every time when you are passing the text, you can pass only one entity type over here and that is what it will apply in this text. Okay, so if you have multiple entity types, you need to run it again and again. Okay. So here I create the prompt and then I create an LLM chain okay, whereby I pass the prompt and I set the LLM here. This is our universal NER7 model. Okay. Now we can try it out. Here is a text. Okay, this is a text which I have copied from Wikipedia. This talks about Apple multinational company headquartered in Canada. yeah okay some details are present over so here i say the entity type is equal i want to identify location within this text right location place here i pass this input text and this entity type as my input parameters to llm chain dot run basically it will populate this prompt template with these input parameters input type and then it will run the language model for you okay so here it detects the output the output is cupertino and california so these are locations in this text okay is there any other location their location in this okay right now let's try out another text so this is a clinical text which radiology report okay and here my entity is disease 
so again i run the llm chain but with the new input text and the type so here it identifies disease as prostate ca low back pain prostate cancer lower back pain scoliosis loss of intervertebral disc height plate sclerosis vacuum gas phenomenon wedging degenerative changes compression deformities so it is pulled out certain diseases or conditions from this these are not purely diseases some of them they are just some conditions or symptoms uh, low back pain is a symptom so it has actually pulled uh, that as well as post process okay so this being zero shot ner you have a lot of these use this model to extract from okay so now let's go back to our previous text of apple and again uh, you know try to pull out the entity type as person okay so the text is same text to entity type is no person here when i run this it gives output as steve was nyak steve jobs ronald wayne tim cook okay so basically for the same text if you are detecting different entity types you have to do separate runs over that is like a drawback in this particular model but that is the way they have been designed it so inferences are based on one entity type at a time for multiple entity types we need to create separate instance for each type i could as well run uh, you know a piece of text and show you but over here uh, the thing is that it takes some time for the results to be generated being a 7 billion parameter uh, inference time So this was a short demo on universal linear how you can use it for zero shot neighbor entity recognition you can try out this model and see if it suits your uh, tasks for neighbor entity recognition i'll be putting the link to this particular um, notebook you can go and try it out the only thing you need to be uh, careful about is runtime should be a gpu instance okay and sometimes i have seen that when this model gets loaded it might run out of memory so you need to restart your runtime right out okay i hope this video is useful for you if you like the video please like share subscribe to the channel see you in another